in the last topic uh, we discussed about a simple structure so we'll check the example struct say student which we were discussing in the last example so struct student and one variable is for roll number say int r number then float marks we gave a single variable for marks so let's uh, assume that we have three subjects okay so if that be the case we can give float one for physics then one for chemistry and one for maths okay so you have four variables one for roll number and float variables for physics chemistry maths these are the marks and after that we enclose it in curly brackets and with semicolon this is how we define a structure now we have a structure with the name student and student has four members roll number physics mark chemistry mark and maths mark now in the last example we defined a single structure variable say a but in normal case if i want to get the marks of all the first year students if that be the case the number of students will be very high so we cannot give like a b c d etc so there we need an array so for this structure we need array so in that case what we can do is say if it is a single variable how we would have defined it we would have defined it as say struct student then we give a to get a single variable and here for an array you can give struct student this is the structure name itself so struct student say a 50 this means a0 corresponds to first student a1 corresponds to second student up to a49 this corresponds to 50th student okay so this is the whole concept of array of structures so a0 means it is one structure variable the first structure variable so a0 represents first student so a0 will be having values for roll number physics chemistry and maths similarly second student a1 has roll number physics chemistry and maths mark so how you can access the variable for the first student you can write a0 dot r number then a0 dot phy a0 dot ch a0 dot chem like that so if we want to access all the uh, students how we can do here i have written for 50 students so for i is equal to 0 i less than 49 i plus plus so this is a loop just as we write in all other cases and within that we will give what for entering roll number we can give scan f within this we write percentage d and to get that ampersand sign a i dot r number this is how you give okay so you can continue like this similarly to add all the marks using scan f we have got all the marks then to add all the marks within the loop you can give say a total marks total is equal to if you want to print total is equal to how you can access it ai dot phy plus ai dot chem plus ai dot maths so if we write like this this means corresponding to each value of i the physics chemistry and maths mark is added to a variable say total okay this is a local variable and you can print we can write print of total marks is equal to you can directly print this variable value so this is how we use array of structures to understand this you should have a prior uh, knowledge of how loop works then about array and all which we have already covered so if there is any doubt regarding those topics you can learn about array and loop this is uh, completely i am discussing about array of structures so for Uh, in the last program we discussed how to define a structure and how to declare a single variable and now we are discussing how to declare structure array for example here for student for a single student we have four values to enter one for roll number and three variables for physics chemistry and maths mark so each variable con contains four values okay so here if i need to save the value of 50 students i can define an array of type 
structure student and this is how i declare it this is how we declare array of structures struct student struct is a keyword and student is a structure name and this is the variable name a50 so to access each variable you can give ai where i varies from 0 to 49 just like any other array so we will check this program so this is the program this part is the uh, structure definition. Struct is a keyword and then structure name is student. Struct student and within this we give the members. Integer roll number then float type marks 1 and marks 2. So this part is the structure definition. And then we are declaring structure variables. So if it was not array we would have given struct student A. But here A3 means it is an array of structures. And three students details can be saved. A0, A1 and A2. So here the value will be changing from 0 to 2. So in the loop we give for int i is equal to 0, i less than 3. That means 0, 1 and 2. Three times this loop will be executed corresponding to the three students. And within the loop this part is for getting the value from the user. Printf enter the student details i plus 1 because first value is i 0. So first student is i plus 1. Enter roll number using scan of percentage d ampersand sign. Instead of a we give ai dot roll number. If it is single variable we give a. If it is structure variable we write a dot r number which was last program. But here as it is an array of structure we give and ai dot r number then and ai dot marks 1 and ai dot marks 2. So in this loop it will be executed 3 times and all the de details that is roll number marks 1 and marks 2 of the 3 students will be obtained from the user in this loop. After that this part is for printing the details. Printing the details. Again as it is an array of structure we need a loop. So, here it is 3. So, 0, 1 and 2. So, loop will be for int i is equal to 0, i less than 3, i plus plus. Again, print. Details of student i plus 1 is roll number. It is ai dot r number. Marks of subject 1. It is ai dot marks 1. Then, subject 2 mark it is ai dot marks 2. So, this is called a dot operator. And dot operator is used to access the member or uh, element of the structure using structure variables. So let's execute this code. Enter roll number. Say let's the first roll number be 1. Marks of first student 100. Second subject say 100. For second roll number say 80 and 90. And for third student say roll number 3 marks b50 and 60 so here the details are displayed roll number 1 subject 100 100 second student marks are 80 and 90 third roll number 50 and 60 so you got the output so this is using dot operator we are accessing both entering and printing the values of uh, structure variables and this is an example for array of structure